Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question is quite a straightforward one, actually. It's from Mark Piran, uh, VA7DEL in Canada, British Columbia. It says, I have a high noise floor on 40 and 80 meters, which is a pain. That's a lot of people have that problem if they live in cities or are close to uh, um, something industrial and so on. I've determined the noise is not coming from my house and probably just normal background noise. Well, yeah, if it's real high like S9, it might be worth going after finding where it comes. I do use ferrite rings and my coax to choke off common mode noise, good, and my station is properly grounded. My antenna has low SWR across all bands except for 75 meters where I do have a good portion of the phone band below 2 to 1 so I don't use a tuner. Okay. I would like to use the MFJ receive only antenna with my DX commander as my transmit antenna. Now, um, you will want to do some comparison tests to see which is quieter because uh, the uh, MFJ receive only antenna, which I have, um, is, I mean, it's subject to noise too. Uh, it may get less noise. Uh, one thing you can do with it, uh, if the circle is this way, it has a null like an arrow going straight through the hole. The null, and you can actually tune the thing to null out something that's interfering with your station. And that may help you with your noise. Okay. Um, well, it says I don't use tuner. Let's see. Would like to use the MFJ receive only antenna with my DX commander as my transmit antenna. It's a perfectly good thing to do. I'm using an ICOM 7300 and an ACOM 1010 amp. I would like to know how to automatically switch from the receive antenna to the transmit antenna. I could just buy an ICOM 7610, yeah, for another two grand. Uh, but my wife might have something to say about that. Love your channel. Cheers from British Columbia, Mark. This website for w6lvp.com is iffy. Uh, but they have a receive-only antenna, okay? And then they have a small device with it that has a transmit-receive switch and you can contact them to see if they can sell you just that transmit receive switch. So w6lvp.com has a device that can receive from the receive only loop or can uh, transmit to the uh, uh, DX commander. Now one thing to remember is that um, when you're sending that much power through the switch, the difference between what you're receiving, which might be minus 100 dB, dBm, the very faint signal, um, and plus 30 dBm if you're using your ACOM amplifier, okay, you've got well over 100 dB difference in those. And no switch has that much isolation, okay? So you're going to have to use something like this that's specially designed for that to protect the front end of your receive-only antenna. So if you use this device, when you go on receive, you're receiving from the um, receive antenna. When you transmit, it goes out the DX commander. So W6LVP dot com get a hold of them they have the receive only antennas if you haven't bought one from mfj they do have them uh, at that spot too um, and as i said earlier if you've got a circle like this for your receive antenna there is like an arrow pointing straight through it a null and if you rotate that thing very carefully you may be able to null out that real high noise on your 80 and 40 meter bands so there you have it. I hope you find that helpful. Um, I do have the W6LVP 
receive only antenna. Uh, it's a very nice one. And uh, I've also got the MFJ receive only antenna. And I've got a new one that um, I got that we did a, uh, uh, it's the MLA 30 plus from China that's pretty inexpensive, but this doesn't have the transmit um, separation that the other one has. Most of these switches are designed to have a single antenna that serves an SDR radio that you can use for your spectrum and your regular radio so you can just listen to it. And then when you transmit, it goes out to your transmit antenna, the antenna, the only antenna. So this is a little different situation where you've got two antennas coming into one radio. And when you transmit, you want it to go to one antenna. When you listen, you want to listen from the other. That can be done easily enough. You might even be able to do it with this MFJ thing, but I don't know, it's not designed for that. Um, so there you go, there you have it. And if you would please help feed the algorithm at YouTube by clicking on uh, subscribe and like, and if you'd like notifications of new videos, click on the bell that's on the subscribe uh, icon. And if you would like to help support this channel financially, you may do so by going to dcastler.com support and look for a way there. There's several options. And until we next meet, 73.